Sam was born on August 29th of 2003 with biliary atresia. Uh, liver, it's a chronic liver disease and he had surgery at 14 weeks. I met Sam and his parents when he was about four months old, six years ago. Uh, Sammy had been operated on at another hospital and uh, it was actually a pediatric gastroenterologist there who knew of my interest in biliary atresia who referred Sammy to us. You want to sit on my lap? Over the last year, his lab results starting to get worse and his belly started getting bigger and it was decided that he would need a liver transplant this year. Our uh, pediatric liver transplant program is one of the largest in the country to do living donor transplants. We started asking our friends and relatives who first you know, blood type match and then who would be a possible donor. And luckily our sister-in-law was a compatible donor that a portion of her liver would be accepted in his body. I guess I never really thought about it other than just fill out the paperwork and move forward and this is what needs to be done and just go for it. We met with a team of the, the surgeons and the doctors and everything was blessed. The best description was um, the one that Dr. Schwartz gave us. She said it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster, which that it has. It was worse than I could have ever imagined. It was a roller coaster from hell. Our experience here has, at Hopkins has been fantastic, but I wouldn't wish the experience of going through a liver transplant with anyone in the world. It's horrifying, it's heartbreaking. Um, it's the scariest thing I've ever been through in my life. <laughs> She's gone through major surgery and uh, a week in the PICU, weeks on the floor. <laughs> These uh, experiences can eat into the soul of the most resilient child. A hospitalization is very stressful, not only for the child, but for the family as well. While all of us were facing um, the blizzards of, uh, as, uh, of this century, Sammy wasn't able to go out and his mood became even more saddened. Sam was feeling down that he was still in the hospital and he was missing his brother and his dog and he wanted to go home. He's seen the snow coming down outside and you know, hearing his brother talk about it. So one of the things that we did do was go out and obtain a lot of snow that we brought to, into his room in order to bring a smile to his face, and it did. The clowns came in, and it, it was amazing. It was, you know, he, he, he couldn't go out of it, so they brought it to him. That he would sit down once in a while, but he was still playing in it, and he had the sticky socks wearing them as gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, it just brightened his whole outlook since then. He has definitely had a big turnaround since then. Were you happy when Sam came home last night? Yeah. Yeah, because you missed him, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. He's made a big change from the hospital to this morning. I am old enough to remember b before we had liver transplant for biliary atresia. So most of the children died. and. That, I think, makes me so passionate about trying to improve the outcome. Our experience here at Johns Hopkins Children's Center was absolutely amazing. The, all of the doctors and the nurses went above and beyond to help not just Sam, but me and my husband, my entire family. For them to bring snow into his room, for him to build a snowman in the middle of a blizzard, you don't get that care anywhere else.